Hey, what's up YouTube? Travis here um, on a Wednesday afternoon. Just got back from work from school and uh, wanted to do a tobacco review uh, before I did a little bit of yard work. So uh, in my pipe here, this is a pipe I got off of eBay. Honestly can't remember the name of the maker, but is a, a guy kind of like us, just carves pipes and uh, sells them, nothing overly special, but a great smoker and, and kind of a really pretty piece, uh, in my opinion, but uh, in any case, uh, in it I have Crown Achievement by Lane Limited. This is a relatively new, old tobacco. Um, this is a tobacco that, uh, I'm honestly not sure how long it's been out, it's been out for a while, but um, Apparently it was a tobacco that Lane Limited had for quite a while, uh, many years ago, and the uh, recipe slowly changed and the taste for it kind of declined and people stopped buying it and they discontinued it somewhere around uh, 2000. And now they've brought it back with uh, somewhere very close to the original recipe. Uh, it's a mixture of Virginia's, Orientals, and Latakia. Uh, it just smells like your traditional kind of a, a traditional Balkan mixture. You can smell the Latakia, of course, and but it smells a little bit of sweet with the uh, Virginias and the Orientals in there. So I'm going to get it lit up and see how the first light goes, and then uh, I'll do a little review for you as we go along. So I tried to do this with one hand to pick up my tripod. This is boring. I'll, I'll come back up to the charring light. Alright, so I got the pipe lit, and right off the bat, it's very, very smooth. Almost, almost buttery um, smooth. I know people who review cigars also often talk about an oily mouthfeel or a slick oil. Um, and that's what this tobacco has, um, in my opinion. It's not very spicy, not very peppery. It's just very smoky and smooth and a little bit sweet. Not tangy at all, um, just kind of sweet. Um, I don't know what type of orientals it has in it, but those in the Virginias really uh, seem to balance out. There's there's something extra in there, almost a kind of like a potpourri, but but in a good way, not in a bad way, not in a Lakeland way, not overwhelming. Just enough. To give it a really nice flavor and kind of combine with the smokiness. So well, I'm going to go through the blend, or through the bowl, <laughs> through the blend, through the bowl for a little bit, do a couple things around the yard, and I'll, uh, I'll come back maybe halfway or, or so through the bowl. Hey, what's up? So, checking back in with the Crown Achievement review by Lane Limited, and... I've been uh, smoking this pretty fast, uh, pretty hard, and definitely no bite. It's still really smooth. Uh, the sweetness has kind of died down. It's almost, it's very smoky. Um, there's still that kind of, I know I'm calling it a potpourri, but that's, I don't mean that to sound bad. It's not floral. It's just, it's not exactly sweet. Um, like a hint of flowery. Uh, this is awful, sorry, but uh, that's kind of how I'd describe it. The blend really reminds me a lot of Peterson's Old Dublin, which I believe, ha believe has some of the uh, basma or basma leaf as its oriental. I, like I said, I don't know what's in here, but it reminds me a lot of that. It's mostly smoky. It's very very smooth, it's not overly robust, it's definitely not harsh, um, no strength to it. It's, it's just, it's a really good blend. Um, I'd, I'd highly recommend it, and 
I've, you know, it's, I, it's had no, nothing negative to say about it except uh, that the only thing is that it may not be strong enough for some people, but it's, I wouldn't call it mild either. It's, uh, it has a lot of good flavor. It's certainly not a lot of key a bomb or anything, but it, the, the lot of key is very present. So the slower you draw, the more sweetness you get. I think from the Virginias. When I really slow down and take a slow, long draw on the pipe, it's a much sweeter smoke. Um, I've been I might be able to tell I'm sweating. I've been working in the yard and. Uh, raking and, and putting down grass seed and it's puffing a little bit harder on it um, kind of brings out that smokiness more but the slow long draws you get a little bit of sweetness so um, I'm probably half to two-thirds of the way through the bowl so I'll try to come back at the end and let you know how it finishes <clears throat> hey what's up guys finishing up my bowl of crown achievement by Lane Limited and it's funny like the minute I shut the camera off um, I s continued to smoke this, and the sweetness came back, like, almost immediately. So, as I finish up the bowl here, the only thing that's very consistent through this is that potpourri oriental background, just really light, really faint. Um, the beginning of the bowl, everything's kind of playing together, the lot of key of the Virginias. In the Orientals, the middle of the bowl, the Latakia kind of takes over. And then here at the end, I'm hardly getting any Latakia anymore. It's mostly just the Virginias and Orientals. But overall, a really good blend. Um, Retro hailing through the nostrils doesn't burn at all, so it's not at all harsh. So, highly recommend it. If I was going to give it a star rating, I'd probably give it four and a half out of five. So. Maybe four out of five because it's it's not overly complex, but you do get transitions, which is nice. All right, happy smoking, everybody, and I'll see you next time.